Hello, my name is Alan Paletti, and today I'm here with another deck review for you. I know that sounds corny, I always started off with, Hi, my name is Alan Paletti, but I'm doing that because of branding. Thank you very much. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review on the da -da -da -da, Tally Ho deck. Now, I am going to only do a, a review on the fan backs. Um, the reason being, I really hate the crap out of circle backs. I don't understand why people like them. I understand maybe for a pirouette flourish it looks kind of pretty, but I just don't think they have as much inherent magical look as a fan back deck. And the reason being, look at how much things you have going on with nature and new life, and, and just to me, in the celestial things, and it just it just breathes magic to me. This is the most magical back design I've seen, probably, that kind of just breeds that kind of thought. Okay, I don't know why people like circle backs. If you like them, cool. The, the quality is the exact same. Go out and buy them. Be happy with whatever one you like. Um, mine's just going to be a review on the cards themselves, okay? Um, this is the box. This is the box when it was still made in Cincinnati, Ohio. I don't know what the new ones look like that are made, that are come out of Erlanger. Uh, but this is a Linoid Finish, which, if you guys don't know by now, thank you, Illusionist. And uh, they finally, finally said it, finally came out, I put the cat out of the bag. Um, what I've been saying for years, um, there's no difference. They're air cushion finish. There might be like a little bit difference in, in the um, application or the stirring or whatever, but basically they're all air cushion finish, okay? Um, just means they have a little dimpling on them when you look at the card, okay? Um, made in the USA, Cincinnati, Ohio, and that's pretty much it for the box, okay? Um, these cards are really nice. I like them quite a bit, and I'm actually, I got a request to do an over-the-shoulder downward camera angle view, so let's try that here. Okay. Hey, look, there's all my stuff, my Superman action figure, right? There's some of my cards in one of the cases that I have. There's my green screen that I pulled down, and my carpet. Okay. So, here's what these look like, okay? They are very pretty for fans. As you can tell, you like I like the little orbs that go around like that. I think that's very pretty. Um, the paper quality for at least these, I haven't tried the new ones, but from the old ones, the paper quality is really good. Um, they are good stiff cards. They do wear out, um, unfortunately, pretty quickly. Just like any other deck you may have handled. Um, a lot of people want to say that there's a difference between Tally Ho and Bicycle, but I can promise you it's almost psychosomatic. In fact, I didn't believe it when I heard it. And, um, but straight from the horse's mouth, that's, that's the way they are, man. That's, uh, they're the same as bicycle, okay? Only, they look a lot prettier, okay? They also seem to have a better, they do a better job at cutting the edges nice and smooth. I don't know if it's because they're made in smaller quantities and they have a little bit more time, uh, to work on these because they don't make as many. But I know that bicycle is mass produced and they just make them as fast as they possibly can. So, um... I think bikes probably have a little bit more of a quality issue because of that, because they're not made in smaller quantities, okay, and they don't have as much time. Um, I'm going to show you the Jokers and the Ace of Spades here, because those are the only different face cards in the entire deck. The rest of this is just standard bicycle deck, okay. There's the Joker. One of them, the guarantee. There's the Tally Ho Joker. Tally Ho! And if you remember, if you've seen my... Uh, beat, or, uh, Bulldog Squeezers review, you know that this is pretty much the same Ace of Spades that's used minus the Tally Ho, okay? Some really cool gimmicks and gaff options I'm sure you can think of with that, okay? And there's the Ace of Spades. Now this is one of the prettiest Ace of Spades I have ever seen. Whenever I opened my first pack of Tally Ho and I saw these, I was like, good lord, I'm in love. These things are gorgeous. Now a lot of people don't notice this, but there's an N and a 9 there, and that stands for number 9. Actually, there's a little O, too, if you can see it right there. That stands for number 9, which is the um, number given to this deck. Like, bicycles are 808, these are nine. Uh, these are 09s, okay? So, playing cards, number 9. Got the nice little whips coming down through here. Um, this ribbon, it's just very pretty. And these are, as obviously, as you can tell, were made by the A. Doherty Company um, before the United States Playing Card Company bought them. Um, but really great cards, very pretty. I mean, look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. These are some of my favorite cards. I just like them just for the look. I, the, the quality's okay. I mean, you know, they're, they're a deck of cards. Um, but they're just so pretty. I love this. 
Um, I, apparently you can buy these like over the counter in New York City or something like that. They have them just as readily available as bicycles. If anybody out here, uh, out there in New York watches this video, can you confirm that? If anybody knows where you can buy these just off the shelf, I'd be really, I'd really appreciate that. I'd like to hear your comments on that, okay? Um, but great deck of cards. They work really well. Um, thing is, they're getting really hard to find now. The, at least the, the more quality ones, they started making one a little bit thinner, flimsier paper. I've heard some thing, different things about them being more printed off center and some other problems that they've come into in uh, recent months and years. But uh, if you can get some of the old ones at least, I can, I can put my thumbs up stamp of approval on, on the Cincinnati Ohio decks. I think they're really, really great. Um, and if you know you take care of them, they'll last you quite a while, but I, again, this deck is, is, I have had this one for probably over a year now. Thing is, I have so many decks that I cycle through and play with, and I only use certain decks that I actually wear on hard. I've got such a collection here, um, always just off side of the screen. I never actually show you how many I have, um, kind of like that mystery. But. I have plenty of decks of cards and I can rotate through them so that none of my cards actually get more wear than they should. And um, as a result, they end up lasting a long, 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 long time. But uh, on average, the use of this deck is you could probably go through a pack of these a day, you know, trying to quit. But in any case, I hope you enjoy the review. I finally did Tally Ho, yay. Uh, didn't do circle backs because I just don't like them. I don't oh, actually. I don't own any packs of them. And I never thought about investing the money in them because I wouldn't use them. I don't like them. Um, if you do, if you think the design looks better than these, then go pick up that. It's all personal taste. There's nothing wrong with the other ones. They're they're a great pack of cards as well. So um, either way. Enjoy. I hope that you got something useful out of this review. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'll be only too happy to respond. And also, I wanted to make note of this before we leave today. If you notice, my uh, channel page is uh, different. At the top, I have a little banner now. I've kind of gone with the black and the white and the red theme. I know, I know, I know, but it's the most clean looking. Um, it's easiest to read, and there's a lot of reasons I chose it besides it just looking cool and gothic and everything, um, because you know it's not me. Um, just like the clean, simple lines and everything, I think it looks fun. Um, but if you notice at the top, I have a banner now, and that has uh, Marco on the top, who has been generous enough to create that banner for me. Um, he's done a, a lot of great work. He's done a lot of stuff with other YouTubers and other channels, and uh, he offered to make me a banner. So I think it looks really great. I want to thank you publicly in front of everybody. Thank you very much. I really enjoy it. I think that it's going to help me out a lot with branding. And um, I think that people will get a better idea of who I am and what I do just by looking at that banner. So you've done a very magical thing for me, and I thank you very much. Uh, if there are no other questions right now, I'm going to close the video. If you think of anything later, ask me below. Talk to you guys later.